Let's do a chest opening video today. And let's get right to it. Just before we start, let's do an epic chest. Actually, let's we got up to the magical chest. So we will start with the free chest. Here we go. Our gold started at one five uh, a million fifty nine thousand five hundred twenty six. That was our total gold count. By the way, I have uh, unlocked all these chests during the legendary uh, week weekend. It's just right now when I'm opening it, we're way past the legendary weekend, but I have unlocked it before the legendary weekend has ended. And let's go for the mythical mythical chest. Yes, yes. Yes, that's pretty good. That's probably the card I wanted the most for. As the Necromancer deck is the deck I play the most for now. Awesome, awesome. Let me just do a quick calculation and see how much gold I got from opening all those chests. Okay, 
so in total we have got uh, 7,246 gold. That's pretty good. A little bit over of 7,000 for one chest open. And now let's just do a few matchmaking. To fill up those slots. I will almost all. I think for fu for future reference, I will always put the chest opening clips at the beginning of each video, if there is gonna be one. Just so if that's you're here for, uh, you can see right to it. Mm, I don't like this. Let's force him to use the wing. We don't need to rush to play the necromancer, we'll see what he has. I think a meteor is coming. Meteor or fire element. Wow, that's a very powerful inferno. I don't think I can win this anymore. Good game. I got the two center barrier at the last.
Oh wait, so it's still the legendary week. Oh good. So we did open all those chests. Unlock and open during the legendary weekend. Anyway, I got the legendary from the mythical chest. So I'm happy either way. I had heard from a playmate who has gotten a legendary from the normal chest that you unlock for 3 hours before. Which is pretty insane if you think about it. Very, very lucky. I need to find a way to deal with that. Which I don't have a good way right now. So let's push before he dodge my wind. There, that's the first standard bearer. You, you have to, you always have to keep track of their standard bearer when they play the rush deck or the reaper deck. Actually, if he had an ice, uh, ice blizzard and he played it on top, then I would have lost the game if I didn't draw the win right after. But in general, if you keep tracking of the center barrier, then you're in good shape against the rush deck. You just have to remember he only has two center barrier in the first 14 cards he draws. And also when you're playing the rush deck, you need to keep track of the wind that you're playing against. Because you want to know if your opponent has the wind before you play that rage in some of the cases. Not always of course. I play that horribly. I've been through. I I had been dealing with a lot of things today, so I'm probably not at my best self. Angel can block the shock from the 65. Oh, that's interesting. If I play the shock where the Black Witch and Angel is, I wonder which target the shock shock will hit. I either the Black Witch or the Angel because they both have the same attack of 6, 65. Maybe I should have played the wind and find out.
stop, 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 stop,